We begin tonight with breaking news. Fargo police say they will be recommending charges against a man who parents say inappropriately touched young children at a local park. Police want the court to consider sexual assault charges against the man. They add he has also been banned from all indoor and outdoor playgrounds in the area. Valley News Live met up with that man who says the whole thing was a misunderstanding and that he's not a criminal. The man is a father of four who was at Lindenwood with his wife and kids. He says a young girl fell and he was trying to help. Take and then I will just like, uh, I'm sorry, just like, uh, just like here, take our like kiss and then I will put a separate place. But right now it's too many problems for her to hear, I don't know how to do for this thing. People didn't understand what you were doing. Yeah, I know, but uh, I love it. All my kids need to kiss, see sometime fall down, something wrong. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson will have more from the family coming up tonight on Valley News Live at 6. When you go to a park, you don't expect that to happen, that a ran random stranger is going to grab one of your children, especially when you are right there. Meanwhile, the mother of four with one on the way, who is at the center of all this, says the man inappropriately touched her kids at a local park. Valley News Team's Cornelius Hawker has an exclusive interview with that mom about the incident. She hopes you can learn from what she says was a very scary experience. We couldn't really process what we had just seen and heard. Um, we're a little flabbergasted by what happened. A family outing to Lindenwood Park for Lisa Gadros on Monday night turned bizarre after she says a man inappropriately touched two of her children. Before he released my daughter to my husband, he kissed my daughter, kind of in the corner of her mouth area. This gentleman proceeded to grab my eight-year-old son in his groin and cup his groin as he did so. She got on Facebook to tell people about what she says happened so parents could be informed and police could hopefully find this guy. Lisa says the man in the photo seemed a little off which is why they didn't use force with him. A lot of people saying that, you know, we should have attacked this man or detained him until police came. It's, you know, you don't know what he has in his pocket. You know, I don't need to plan a funeral. Lisa says the situation has given her all the more reason to continue watching her kids closely. When you go to a park, pay attention to your kids. You think that just because they're within the vicinity that they're safe and you can read that chapter of your book or, you know, play Pokemon on your phone, you have no idea who's interacting with your child. Cornelius Hawker, Valley News Live. The Cass County State's Attorney is reviewing the case and if they decide charges are necessary, they will be filed tomorrow.